<laughs> so it's a game you're interested in. <laughs> I found something for you to dote on. All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome, Teddy Bruce. Come in to brew number nine of ten here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the buttons, do a thing, support the content, please. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. If you enjoyed what I'm doing here, if you like Ted New Bruce and you didn't hit the like button, you don't really like Ted New Bruce. But what more can I say? You know, it helps out a ton. It sounds stupid. I say it over and over again, but it really doesn't matter that much as far as content goes. So thanks so much. Appreciate that. We're getting into uh, the mirror universe here because on one side, we got Breaches, Eager Pillager. And on the other side, we got. Breaches, the blast maker with a mustache. All right, same deck? Sure, why not? In play at the same time? Sure, why not? So obviously this is a pirate deck and pirates are outlaws. This is where you belong, very, very important. Uh, and why pirates, right? Pirates is like an excellent mechanic. Why go by this? So there's three new cards that are all pirates and they're all quite good and add to the critical mass of the pirate deck in ways they didn't really have before. So up the curve, we have Restless, Reckless Lackey. Just a 1-2, first strike haste for one. Freaking Raging Goblin. Aww. F's in chat for Raging Goblin, right? Power corrupt like 14 different ways here. Uh, but this is like cheap enough to be fine, I think. Uh, you know, having cheap attackers for breaches is very important. Getting the board is very, very important. Also convokes too, which we'll get to. So adding that critical mass of one drops is pretty important. Uh, we also get Malcolm the Eyes, perhaps the best uh, new card. 2 mana for a 2-2 flying haste. Player second spell, investigate. So this card's huge in that it's cheap, it's aggressive, it makes artifacts for Captain Storm, other things, and it gives you a reason to want to play more shitters like Reckless, Reckless, Reckless Lackey, so you have more things, Trigger, and so on and so forth. So Malcolm is phenomenal. Really, really good card. Could possibly even be a four if it's that good. And then we got Breaches the Blastmaker, the other Breaches. Three, three menace for three. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, may sacrifice an artifact. If you do, flip a coin. If you win the flip, copy the spell. You may choose new targets. If you lose the flip, it deals damage. Equal that spell's mana value to any target. So, uh, both Breaches and Malcolm want you to cast a lot of spells, which obviously the extra one drops help with. And also you can help, you can help convoke out Zephyr Singer, which is a pirate, surprisingly. And as far as kill spells go, we got Witchlocker Frenzy and Kitesail Larcenist. And we got a cool new counter spell here in Phantom Interference. This is a spree card. Right. right, a spree. This is a blue plus one for a counter spell, or plus three for a flyer, or plus four for both. So five mana for a two-two flyer, it counters a spell. Two mana for a quench, or four mana for a flyer. A nice flexible card, which is pretty cool. And uh, we also get Spire Buff Canal, which is a huge add here uh, in the mana base. Cavern of Souls is doing its thing, and that's the deck. So pirate time, outlaw time, and let's get right to the games. Brought to you by Anthros. That's right, Anthros. New sponsor of mine, and uh, absolutely adore my new sponsor. Uh, such a high quality prayer, freaking loving it. And I get to recline, maintain my same my, my posture. And if you missed it, I actually got the back. So I have a custom back. Ready for this? Boom! There it is. Check it out. My custom pile driver's back, which is super, super cool as well. So check them out. Take care of your body. It's, it's not cheap, but it's important to spend the money and take care of your body because you only get one. All right, so Anthros, sponsor, check them out. Use the link, please, and of course, use the uh, promo code as well for a discount. Let's get into the game's chat coming out with me, and uh, we got one drop, two drop, and it works for me. We're going to hold the Siren because we want to get the artifact first. Spire buff, get out on turn one. Restless Lackey. Yeah! Let's go. Pirates are outlaws. I'm back on the streets with all my criminal buddies. All right, Swamp. All right, so no cut down, please. I want Captain Storm to get in here and do its thing. Artifacts ETB, Pirates ETB, we got Frenzy also. Pretty all in, uh, pretty all in beats. We got, oh, we got a, a Tomb Raider too. Okay, sure. So we're all in, folks. It's all going in the middle. Just shove it. There's a bounce on Boom. Map. Put a counter on the Lackey. There is a Convoke card draw spell, but I think the Convoke Flyer is just better, so. I'm gonna add that and put a counter here and frickin' send it. And our, our Tomb Raider's dead. Could have killed the Cap Storm and chose not to, which is pretty interesting. And uh, now we got maps in a frenzy, so. Uh, Alright, well, let's just uh, siren it up, I suppose. Counter here. We'll map here. 
Uh, we can bend that. Look for breaches, you know. And we'll just go here again, I guess. There's breaches. We found one of them. No path of peril, please. Whew. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I want to do it all. I want to do it all. Target a pirate. Pump this thing up. Get this out of here also. And complete it. Game. Fire Bluff Canal. Flawless victory. All right. Obviously, they missed the land drop and stumbled a bit too. But hey, that's the point of aggro, right? You got to win the game before they can get off the ground. So, fast win there. Let's keep going. All right. Uh, we got ones. We got twos. We got a rule spell. Keep. Cavern of Souls, come on down. Uh, pirate. Mercenaries are cool, like Boba Fett. Boom. Go. Hedge Maze. We've done, we've done some hedge mazing today. Nice spread decks today. So we get some combo decks, some ramp decks, some aggro decks, some mid-range decks. I guess no control deck today, really, but that's fine. All right, goodbye, Kellen. Hello, staunch crewmate. And currently lacking uh, artifacts. Eh, that's fine too, whatever. I have the most aggressive uh, draw, two in for two one, that's fine. All right, here's a Grizzled Genius. This card is actually, I think, really, really good. Two there for two, makes all your plots one less to plot, and uh, we can't let that one happen, obviously. So we got a, a Frenzy that costs two. This does not have haste. Yeah, I mean, whatever, sure. This is a, like a draft deck drop. You know, so that, we're locking a lot of our, our big payoff cards here, but we're still beating it. We're doing our thing, you know? Two, three, bear. Some things you just don't like, you know? That value is spree is determined by, only by the mana cost. Doesn't matter what mode you choose to play. Really? That's so weird. All right, so they're going to kill in, play an extra land, play a new genius. That's really bad for us. All right, well, we didn't draw our removal spell. That's really bad. Uh, we get to investigate here, but our attacks are bad, too, because it's a 2-3. Oh, my God. The 2-3 is going to hold us back forever here. Um, it's Malcolm Crewmate. I'm very, very scared for next turn. Kellen also costs 2. Yeah, this card's busted. This card's great. Uh, another Crewmate or a Siren. All right, let's get this thing going. Get a treasure. Attack with this. Do I just attack all here? I don't think so. That's probably next turn. Yeah, we're in trouble. So, Kellen costs two. Hmm. We'll see. Let's see what's up. We're trying to cross the finish line here. It's turn four, so can't play that many more turns. Here's Jace Reawakened. Uh, this card is in the 11th brew, the cool stuff video brew. Draw and discard. Yeah, this card's like 2-3. If it was a 2-2, two, two, it'd, it'd be fine, I think. But as a 2-3, it's like, wow. Pretty insane. All right, so here's Kellen as a 3-4. And draw a Captain Storm. Problem, of course, is that that's pretty good. So let's go Captain Storm, Crewmate. I mean, we're like going wide now and like doing enough stuff to be kind of reasonable. So let's put a counter on the, the Malcolm. And then look at our top guards. We get a uh, breaches. We can't. We get a. Oh, we got a Zephyr Singer. That's insane. So we can just play the Zephyr Singer right now. Yeah, I love it. All right, and then we'll just sing her up, and we'll just give flying to all the crappers. Uh, all of these. One, two, three, four. All right. There's all my stuff. It's your turn. Draw a spell next turn and do another uh, another Malcolm. Malcolm's good. They fly now? They fly now. What are you plotting, creeper? What do you got there, plot friend? Jace loots again. They fly now. What a line. All right, we draw a restless lackey. I mean, that's an extra spell. Kind of want a 
crack a clue, honestly. We could draw another Witch Doctor Frenzy, like, we should probably win the game. I mean, three cards in hand. So, five mana, three cards in hand. They have a clue. Could have attacked and didn't. Um, I'm just trying to draw a card. Otawara. We do have two legends in play. This does cost two. So you can just bounce Kellen and just Leroy. Yeah, I'm in. I can't. Ah, oh, blue! No! Cavernous Souls! We got punked by Cavernous Souls. That's fine. Uh, still good, though. We can pump the Zephyr Singer and just do our thing. Might be a Leroy now, also. So. Alright, so let's put the counter here. And then what's uh move to combat? I don't think I care about Jace literally at all. I think it's just like everything at them. Except for the two valuable uh, utility creatures. Yeehaw. Send them. Send them! I did not see Hornlock well coming. Uh, that's sick with the uh, with this thing. Okay. I want this on top though. It's just like a good card, and then also I can like convoke it and then cast you spells hopefully. So they block two things here and take two, four, six, seven, eight, and go to five, and then we're just like super wide still. So. Hornlock Whale costs four. Can't cast it yet. Sure. All right, that one's going to the bottom. I was actually dumb. I should get it on the top. It was, a, it was a guaranteed second spell. That's fine. All right, so... You're at seven. Say go. These come in tapped, so they can't block just yet. Oh, I knew you're up to no good. Kellen is going to destroy a thing and draw a card. I will allow it. They're going to plot a card from their hand. That plot makes perfect sense. It's a Bramble Familiar. So abusing the, uh, the fetch quest part of Bramble Familiar. Sure. And they play a whale, so it only comes to have, have to have my turn. Sure. All right, we draw Zephyr Slinger. Um, so Odawara can bounce. They're just dead. You just bounce this thing and kill them. Cool. So let's do that. Let's just uh, Odawara target this and get in for seven exactly. Seven exactly. Seven exactly. Pirates cross the finish line. That's what I'm talking about. Mercenaries are cool, like Boba Fett. That's right, and 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 me too, right? Right? No, that's cool, I guess. All right, Spire Buff get out to the rescue, as always. Uh, Tomb Raider Captain. Yeah, it's fun. Should use the old art, it's my bad, but. Halo Hopper. It's cute. Alright, we're in. We're gonna Tomb Raider. Um I wanna save the artifact for triggers. So gonna hold up on Siren. Concealed courtyard. Okay. That's a thing. Breaches. Alright, I mean like we do need to draw some stuff here. This is probably a cut down. I wonder if we. Yeah, for sure. Say go. Yeah, alright. Whatever. I mean, like, I couldn't have killed these. I couldn't have even used the map anyway, so. Thicket Courtyard. Abzan something. Alright. 
Draw land. Great. Alright, we're cool. So here's a land. Here's a breaches. They can have an answer to this too. We have two of them anyway, so. Go for the throat. Take one. Bitter Triumph, sure. More damage for me. Turned our breaches into a lava spike. Breaches come in a can of multiple varieties. Here's Screlf. Crewmate. Uh... Alright, let's bring our breaching again. Alright, we're gonna make a... Try to find a land, I think. Let's make a treasure. It gets it for an extra point, and then guarantees you can go two spells next turn for uh for breaches, and then kill it to kill the scroll or copy a spell. Shieldred, sure. Draw land. Okay, so let's go land. Breaches. And then crewmate. Is that where they're oh, so we copy crewmate or deal two damage to something? I'm seeing double here. Four breaches. So top. Wait, what? Why didn't this... Oh, I, I, I didn't read the card all the way. I'm sorry. Oh, it sucks. All right, my bad. Whoops. Whoopsie. I just thought it was two spells. I missed the, the sacrifice and artifact part. So, don't know what my cards do. That's fine. We find a Zephyr Slinger, which is actually insane here. So, we'll just do that, I guess. But, kind of bummer. Uh, Alright. Fire up a singer. Everything's flying. Say go. Take a hit. That's annoying. So you have to sacrifice an artifact to do the thing. There's just so many words on cards these days, right? I can't read all these words. Here's Gix attack. Okay. Um, draw a space jam, cavern of souls. So no second spell here, unfortunately. Breaches might oblige us a second spell. So we have three, six, nine, ten, eleven, just twelve damage here. All right, so let's just attack with everything, I guess. Right, and just try and do some stuff. So let's attack. We have an artifact from the for our second spell, too. So we can go like this. So let's do this. And this. And this. Treasure camp lock, top card. It's Zephyr Singer. That's pretty awesome. Actually, this, so if we win our flip, we just kill them. Which is cool. So, Cavern of Souls on Pirate. Play a Siren. Play Zephyr Singer. Just going to play it without convoking. Because there's no reason to convoke, obviously. So, blue, blue. No. Blue. One. Blue. All right, here we go, folks. Win the flip. You want the flip? Now let's copy that spell. Did you win or lose the flip? What happened? <laughs> copy that spell when you lose the flip to the target. But, like, wasn't it red? Isn't it... Gold? I thought we won the flip. I'm sorry. My bad. I, I assumed gold was heads and we won the flip. But what I, it didn't say win or lose. But we'll take it. That works for me. Take a dub. After it was all over. Pirates. We took it in the house of service nice. pancakes. All right. Keep it going. We got no one drop. But we got a two drop into three drops. And obviously we have 12 one drops to draw to also. So we'll keep this. Did it. Please. Bingo. All right. This is what you'll belong. Outlaw. Holy breaches. Ruby. We got a little Naya something here. Alright, so let's just uh, do our thing. Two shifts pass it of a night. Mercenaries are cool, like Boba Fett. Alright, some sort of legendary deck. Could have the uh, maybe they power, maybe Power Dragon's got the uh, that four mana enchantment here. No, an Adeline. All right. Let's draw our removal spell, please. Um, or not. I guess we can second spell. Oh, we can't. Never mind. I can't do math. Uh, so let's go cavern on pirate and breaches. 
I'm just like, make treasure exile card, I guess. Exile card, make a treasure, it's a land. It's a post-combat lackey. And we can make a treasure. Is that even good, though? Or should I just save this? If I save it, I have a chance to go Blast Maker into two drop or one drop. I guess this blocks a wall one, right? So there's a value there. Sure, let's do that. So do this, investigate. So there you go. Well, that first strike too, actually, yeah. Sorry, a lot of words. There's just so many words on cards today, folks. I can't, I can't keep up. All right, I can't keep up on all the words on these cards. It's got first strike. It's got haste. Does other stuff. We got a first strike wall up here for four first strike damage. If Adeline attacks, it's like pretty damn hard to block, honestly. All right, we got double Adeline. So Adeline's everywhere. Power dragon. What are we doing here? Power dragon. What are we doing? All right, well, that, once this thing attacks, now we know it's a punch. So, all right, no no emergency meeting. Uh, we'll just kill this with the first strike. So. And uh, now we got two spells for this, too. Hi, Cassian. How are you, man? Can we give you a high five? High five. High five, kid. Yeah, Yay. we did it. Yeah, come sit with that for a minute. We're playing pirates. Whoa. Whoa. Arr. Whoa. All right, here we go. All right, so. um. Thanks, kid. Whoa. Whoa. Good job, man. All right, so we're going to go Sokazan, Blast Maker. Um, and now, second spell, I can deal one or get two lackeys. Oh, Mama left. Uh-oh, Mama left. Where's Mama going? Where did Mama go? Mama leave me with a baby. All right, so uh, everyone say hi to Cassian. When you like a video or leave a comment or support the channel in any way possible, it goes right in his belly, all right? Right in his belly. Sacrifice an artifact. Yes, please. Oh, dude, it's okay, man. Where did Mama go? Why don't we just leave? Uh, so we can do one damage to anything. Okay. Let's do one damage to one of these. Um, and now we get attacks for days. Uh, three, four, five, six. We can attack, obviously, the Hallmark Pirates. I think these stay back to block, actually. And we don't have a wall first strike to kill this thing anymore. Maybe, there's, maybe this thing actually attacks. Okay, it's okay, dude. It's okay, man. It's okay. So we're going to go exile top card. This thing can't block. Make a treasure. And we, draw, we hit Odawara. Play land yet? We have played a land. That's right. Odawara. Odawara. See, fat belly. Fat belly. How you doing, man? Hmm? Have a good day? You say hi to everyone. Ten new Bruce. Ten new Bruce. Ten new Bruce. Ten new Bruce. You can't channel from exile. You can only uh, play cards. So, hey, Mama, I gotta. Hi, cranky baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Later, dude. Yeah. Oh, you got my arm too. All right. I mean, I think we're looking pretty good here. We got first strike wall going. Breaches triggers for days. Um, a little weird that our only spell in hands are card we already have, but here's Adeline. But like, this first strike wall is impenetrable. All right, so yeah, eat a eat a thingy, eat a thingy, eat a thingy. They get one token off the thing, one token out of the exchange. Go to ten. We draw Zephyr Singer. Oh, Zephyr Singer is nice. Um, taking a turn off here is a little rough, but we. Reaches the blast monitor. Infinite Legend, what's up, my friend? Welcome. Um, copying Singer or dealing four are both excellent outcomes. The problem is we have a second Breaches already, which is really awkward. What do we do here? Infinite Legend, new sub, what's your from? Welcome. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. like both flyers attack maybe I 
Alright, so top card and a treasure. It's another breaches. Somebody's playing a Franco. Alright, um. Like. I think we just cast it. Um. Because we can convoke off one and play a new one, I guess. So. Let's go blue. One, two. Three. Oh, that's, that was fast enough, I was going to be sure. Then we just play new breaches. Oh, we don't want the breaches copy, right. Um, oh, this is so confusing. Um, so, damn it, we won the flip. All right, let's keep this. Now keep this. Ugh, that's gross. Uh, okay, that's really bad. So, of course, we won that one. Yeah, that was, that's really bad for us. It might be actually just be dead here if they have anything good. Well, let's map up our Zephyr Singer to four power, hopefully. Damn, we suck. All right. Let's say go. Uh, I mean, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven in the air next turn. All ready to go. Here's a Mondrak. I don't think that matters. I think they're just dead, so... Oh, actually, that's, that's, that's more than I thought it was. Uh, Alright, my dad, I don't know. Let's just block. I mean, block here, block here, block here. This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's exactly 10. Are you serious? <sighs> Alright, so we played very badly this game. I just screwed up like multiple spots and we would have won the game, obviously. So game was too close to, to make a mistake and I made a few mistakes. So that sucks. Um, we, we needed to draw a Frenzy or a, or a Kite Sail. We have we have most spells in our deck. We just didn't draw any. Oh, gross. All right, that's fine. GG. Gotta play better. Gotta play better, you know? It says what it is. All right. Um, we found the friends you were looking for last game, obviously. This hand's okay. It's not great, but we can keep it. Chrome, I already funded you, Chrome. Days long enough as it is. Got a mulligan playing against Ollie. Another mulligan? Uh-oh. Coerced to kill. Take one. Grixis. Ollie playing Grixis? That can't be right. Malcolm, do a thing, buddy. If we had a different play, I might try to hold this for value later, but... Oh, man. We're just doing it all here. All right. So, let's go Siren. Yeah, I'm sorry. Play Siren. And Lackey. Give me a stuff. Give me a things. Investigate. Attack for a bunch. Play and beats. Don't play Path of Peril, please. Okay. It's a naked corpse appraiser? Oh. Oh, yeah. Alright. Um. I mean, that being said, we're probably just gonna kill it, honestly. So. Name Pi. Oh, I can't. I'll be red. Never mind. Uh, I should not play that land. That was very, very bad. Punt! Alright. Um. Very bad to play that land. Let's map onto the flyer. Oh, no. <laughs> we got max punished. Now you make a hornet look cuddly. No, it's not even like a red source. It's a red source that won't even come on in play on tap next turn. Oh, my God. All right. Let's just attack in here. I'm very sad now. All right. Say go. We'll just crack this clue and hold on to this thing. Uh Greed's Gambit. We, we played Greed's Gambit earlier. We played against Ollie with this deck? I don't remember. Alright, so the Gambit goes off. Gain six, draw three. And then, uh... Now I got... This, 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 this card, some cards in the end step. We got a Coast. I mean, now we're gonna, like, wait out the Gambit, probably, though, so... Let's see what happens. We don't want to trade with the, uh, the Bats, really. This card attracts, uh... That's not cool. Um... 
I may just do attack. Let's, let's map onto this, uh... Onto Malcolm and try and get it bigger than a bat. It's bigger than a bat. Alright. Blood Coast. I'm just gonna send it. Kill this thing. I'm just gonna get in. There's our investigate. Do your thing. Ollie's trying to gift stuff. Uh, if Ollie's got land more flip gifts, it's gonna be pretty bad for us, but. You missed it. We played a, a really awesome, like, Greed's Gambit donate deck earlier, and it, it was it's actually the best performing deck we've had so far, um, which was not expected at all, but definitely go watch that one on YouTube, Mystic, because it was a freaking blast. So here's Appraiser, mill some cards. Um, just going to play the same turn as last turn. They're just dead now, right? Yeah, so discard three, four, five, six, seven. It's like we're one short of lethal, but try to track that again. Sack the Appraiser. Captain Storm. That'll do it. That'll do, pig. All right, so uh, red, blue, Captain Storm. And then we're going to attack with everything. And we're going to frenzy down the bat. Investigate. Put a counter here. And I think that's eight if I did my math right. There it is. Yay. Four wins. All right. Pirates comes through for four wins. And uh, all the new cards were really, really good. All right. So a somewhat surprising 4-1. Uh, this actually seemed fun, but, like, I didn't think it'd be that good. Um, but, yeah. I mean, all the new cards were great. Like, Malcolm was absolutely excellent. Uh, we never drew the counter spell, whatever, I guess. But uh, this Breaches was quite good also. And just having the extra one drops is pretty good, too. Uh, not a bad little uh, little run there. The Singer was great, too. Breach is obviously already very good. Deck's cool. Pretty sweet little uh, deck. I like that one a lot. That's brew number nine, folks. Number nine. Number ten's coming up. YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Sweet.